What's going on beautiful people? Welcome to We Need To Talk. My name's Michael Dapper and this is a show where I bring together my friends and people that inspire me from different industries to have raw, unfiltered, entertaining conversations. My guests today are Heavy One, Julie Adenuga, Rio Ferdinand, Eva Appio, and Mo Gilligan. And let's secure the package. Let's go. How's it going? Good, good. Man. Man. <laughs> How are you, Michael? Who, me? How yeah. are you feeling? I'm good still. How are you? No, I'm all right, man. No, it's proper good to see you lot still. This first section of this show is called uh, What's Happening Here. We're going to look through some videos and some pictures of ourselves and, um, you know. <laughs> 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 and I want you to explain no one to everybody why. else. I said a few things earlier. Oh, this is what's a... happening oh, no. here. Okay, you know what I'm that, that's all it is. I'm know? not even worried because there's no compromise in pictures of me on the internet. Same. That's fine. I love Same. the confidence, though. Oh, you got, I love the confidence. So, um, can we go to number one, please? Number one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> because you, you told me not to post it on the internet and I said, it's fine, no one's ever going to see it. We went to Amsterdam. OK. Um, that is, that's traditional Dutch uh, clothing. OK. And um, one of our friends said we should sign up to as many sort of, um, like, um, uh, tourist attractions as possible. So, you know, okay. you go to Amsterdam, you ride a bike, you maybe go to a coffee shop. Yeah. One of the tourist attractions was to take a picture in traditional Dutch clothing. And so we got really oh, high man. and... You went and dressed as what is it? Yeah. You, you, I thought you was Amish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got really high and went to this place. And um, that oh, actually isn't funny. the worst picture. The worst picture is when we're on set. There's like a set. Oh, for real? Yeah. But you didn't post that one. I was one. holding a watering can with a big zoot as well. And it was, yeah, it was actually really, it was a really fun day. Yeah, you look, look very happy still. Yeah, it looks fun still. It looked heavy. No, it looks fun. Can I just say thank you? Because it was really no, fun. It was fun. And, and that fun. was about. An hour and a half before I completely whited and ruined the rest of the trip, so... What's next on the menu? I'm Can we have a look, scared. please? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw this, I saw this, I saw this before. That's a move. <laughs> he was That's on vibes, That's happy honey, there's nothing to explain. Yeah, not to, there's nothing to explain. You're whining it down, boy. Yeah, no, no, no. What would you mean there's nothing to explain? <laughs> the the poo sword and the pudding. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. You know what, Eddie? Question, though, oh, did you set up the camera on a tripod or just lean it on something? No, I just lean it on the side. OK, OK. It was but in, that, um, that, I feel like you do what everyone else does. What's that? When they're on their own, innit? Yeah, you yeah, just vibes yeah. into tracks. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was yeah, on, yeah, um, yeah. I was on one of, the, one of the Spanish islands and that. Oh, just okay. one of them? Yeah. One what are you saying? Just on a yeah, quick, quick trip? Yeah, a quick trip. OK. I see, this is when I was recording the album and that, so... OK. I see the song as a vibe, I was just vibing to it, so... Vibing to it. Oh. I like that one there, still. <laughs> I know they, they, I, I've seen a few memes where they put um, Ghanaian music over it. <laughs> 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 see that one? I've never seen that one. That was good. Hey, yeah, was what, what's next on the menu? Oi! Oh, I'm actually scared of yeah, what's going on. I don't think it's going to be me. That, that, one, that one does the rounds all the time. Yeah. We were going on like a... You know what? I, I'll save myself here. We, we just won the league then. So, oh, you okay. can't do that. That's what? a humble flag. I'm just letting people know. Oh. Anyway, we won the league in it so we could wear what we wanted. But no, that was our normal clothes back then. I don't know what's going on. Okay. The, 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 the width of the jeans there is... Yeah, no, the, 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 boot, the boot cuts are serious yeah. then. Serious. What, what, what year is this? 2000 and... Oh, right, that's soon. Six. That's recent. So. No, it's okay. 2006. If it's in 2000, I feel like it's you know, recent. You know, you don't look like Blazing Squad in that picture, yeah. though. It's a bad look. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> <laughs> this is on my Instagram. I remember this, actually. What is that? <laughs> Bro, What's he's, 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 on a, he's on a, he's on so a broom. broom. It's witchcraft. Um, no, no. So what it was, I remember Bro. it was at my friend's flat. You know, like when like Instagram, where you had to do something special. And it, it weren't just you couldn't just put up a selfie. Yeah. 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 Like, this it needs to be a proper picture in it. So I remember I just about three takes, just kept jumping with a broom. And then and that's <laughs> that's what we it. had still. What take was that first one? <laughs> I think that's like the third take. <laughs> that picture's wow. wavy though. This remember this is early Instagram. People didn't have really pictures like this. It was that's oh. when people was putting up food and stuff. Okay. So when they yeah. used putting up this. 
Minimum 100 likes. I was going to say, yeah, 100 likes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minimum 100 likes. 100 likes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minimum 100 likes. Did you have it when there was 100 likes? Yeah, that was minimum 100 likes. I don't know. When was that? Early days. Early days. Let's see what's on the menu. That's not that bad. That's not that bad. You've done well to get away with that. That's not that bad. How old are you there? Um. 17. Okay. Yeah. First time in LA and I hiked, I was done. Oh, well, Runyon finished. Yeah. What? I've heard about Runyon Canyon. I don't know why people do it. They think it's a joke. They do it for Instagram, just yeah. take a picture and just walk by. I, I did that and just walk back <laughs> down. It was long. And you took a picture as well? Yeah, and went back down. You've done well. I didn't go picture. to the top. Yeah, I see no. a little, little muscle and a little bicep. Where are your bad pictures, just out of curiosity? Um, oh, no, they're about still. Huh? <laughs> they're about. I'm very surprised that this was the I one. I thought he was. <laughs> Because he followed my mum on Instagram. I thought it was going to be yeah, the last. Me and my yeah, mum are scared, mixed, but yeah. that's not that bad. <laughs> but uh, I, need, bad. I need something extreme. Are there ones of Michael in here? Give me, give me something extreme. Oh, uh, come, bro, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, Judy. No, you're killing me. I've never one seen you. Michael, you showed one of me. Wow, no, this OK. Is, this one's serious. Your English is bad. No, where was this? You, hey, you, don't look at me, bro. I don't know what to say. Um, yeah. this, was, this was... Hair looks good, though. Thank you so much, Eva. I appreciate so you. So does the nails. I must lining. give you that. The nails look all right. What's the watch you wear? Is that like, like a little Aquamaster? Like Aquamaster with the diamonds in it. Yeah, yeah. trust me. Yeah, oh, cool. Cool. <laughs> with the diamonds. Hey. What, what colour nails is that? Yellow? There was yellow, Michael. There was like the You look like yellow. a proper yardie from Halston. You think so? Just Antoinette, just <laughs> ready <laughs> for the <laughs> <wall. laughs> I, um, I was going to Tim Westwood party at Ministry of Sound. That was payday. Okay. And I was working in Ikea, guys. Jeez. Come a long way. This section here is called uh, TBH. So I'm just going to be asking you personal questions, you know? I think I'm going to start with, with Hedy on this one. Congratulations, firstly, on the number one album. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations, congratulations. I don't think, like, people, people understand the trajectory, just of your journey, mm. you know? What do you feel what has been, like, your proudest moment so far? Um, I don't know, I try not to focus on moments too tough. Mm. I try to just focus on the progression, so I say, obviously each each moment when I feel like I've progressed from one stage to another, mm. that's when m my proudest moments are, if you feel what I'm trying to say. Mm. So yeah, you know, I just like to stay and work more and keep the ball rolling. But, mm. but yeah, really, that like, yeah, just moving forward, man, that's what it's all about, even if it's big steps or minor steps, that's what's important to me, really. Mm. 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 And I know, like, the journey's been kind of... It hasn't been a straight road. Oh, it's a bit... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been Service a straight road in the slightest. Oh. What, what do you feel like, for you personally, has been a period where you were, you know, most vulnerable or you felt it was the most difficult period? There's been a few moments, actually. Mm. Obviously, when, at the beginning of the year, obviously, when I um, went away for a while, mm. it was a bit... It was a sticky one. <laughs> 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 it was a sticky one still. It was a sticky one, cos obviously, yeah, like, it was, um, it was a bit different than I felt like, um, it was like a step backwards. Mm. Obviously, I'd, I'd made steps forward to progress and move away from negative situations before. Mm. And it was all, like, going back to where I started off, if you're trying to say. Mm. And, you know, like, um, it kind of felt like all the hard work that I'd done, it went undone, but... Yeah, but that's the kind of stuff that motivates me, though. Yeah. When stuff ain't going well, I feel like that's when I make my best music. That's when I work my hardest. Yeah. So, yeah, I embrace them moments as much as I embrace the good moments as well. Yeah. So, yeah, at the beginning of the year, that was a tough time. And then I was, when I was released in April, yeah, I just knew that I needed to just wrap up this album and, and turn it into a positive. Yeah. Did you expect, did you expect it to go number one? Um, in all honesty. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, see, I listen to my own. I like my own music, innit? So I felt, yeah. I felt like the music was good. Yeah. So yeah, just that's what was important to me. And then obviously the rest is just the cherry on top of the ice on the cake. So like, real for yourself. Obviously, like for me, growing up, being a Man United supporter. I know you're a Man United supporter as well, innit? 
It's a big, it's a big moment just yeah. sitting next to it. I'm just trying to chill out. Bro, you know that one there? Yeah. You know when Rio come in and I was just shaking his hand? I was looking at this weekend. This is real fair than that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it was mad, because last night, yeah, Rio texted me and we were just going back and forth. And he had mad banter. We was going back and forth He's on there. the He's He's sitting there. No, 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 but... <laughs> no, but you don't understand, though, like, because you know how it... Like, yeah, t- was it 2008? Champions yeah. League final. Yeah. When um John Terry hit the post, I was a kid, I was watching it on my TV. Mad. Man. <laughs> it's mad. Man. Everyone was jumping around. No, nah, it's mad. It's but crazy. You, you you've had like, you know, just a, a an amazing career. You achieved so much. Mm. Um for you, what's been your proudest moment, personally? I think other than the normal basic answer, like the Champions League final, as you said, is the in terms of football, that was the biggest. And the best, <laughs> the best moment. Like, you, if you could bottle that, that feeling at that moment, mm. you'll be Je- the next Jeff Bezos. Like, mm. it's just, it's crazy. But the best thing for me was, you know what? It was a mad thing. When I retired, I've got a group of friends who I grew up with and who I still chill with. Our families are close now and we do more stuff. Because obviously, when you, you, I don't know if you've not experienced this yet, but or at all, like you, you start being successful, you move to a different place, whatever, and then sometimes you've got to spread, spread your wings a little bit and do your own thing a little bit and move away from your normal set of people mm. to be able to focus. Mm. And I was detached from my real core, bona fide friends for a while. Yeah. I retired <clears> and got much closer and we're all tight-knitted again. And one of my friends said to me, like, Re, man, when you made it, and he was playing for United, he was playing for England, he was winning this. We were winning. Mm. Bruv, I, will, I almost cried, bruv. It was, mm. like, it was like, I didn't realise that's what it meant to them. Mm. I knew it meant everything to me and my family, but my friends, when he, when he said that and my other friends were like, yeah, man, it, when you got a cap for England, we got a cap. It was just like, that, that was like a real like, mad moment for me, like, mm. to see that my friends were, they were still on that journey. They may not have been there every day, yeah. but they were there and that's my real, Real, real friends, you know what I mean? Hundred. Nah, no, that's, that's, that's serious. That's genuine. Mm. That's genuine. Because not, every, not everyone's like that on, on that journey. You all. lot must find it. There's bitterness about... Yeah. There's yeah. people that are like a little bit like Wrong resentful that you're actually doing quite yeah. well or you've moved away from the area and they start judging you a different way and you think, well, I'm just trying to be successful in my own right. I will be, I'm not going nowhere. Yeah. I'm away for a bit, but mm. I'll always be back. Yeah. yeah. Some people don't let you do that. No, and I think I think it, it, it's kind of hard, like that getting that balance right, mm. you know, because you know when you're when you're from a certain place and you're trying to elevate, mm. you, it's almost like you can't bring everybody and everything with you. Do you get what I'm saying? But it's just that balance of trying to still do your thing but still stay in touch. And I think it's the it's one of the it's one of the hardest things. I don't know. Yes. Have you experienced that yourself? If I have, I haven't noticed. Yeah. Um, there have been so I just don't really care about what people are saying mm. most days. Yeah. Um, because I don't know. It's just maybe it was the way I was raised. But when people talk about me, it's just I just don't feel like it's my business. Mm. So, and I still know that whether they was talking or not, I've still got an endless list of things that I have to do today yeah. to get to what I was gonna do yeah. tomorrow, to what mm. I'm gonna do next day, to who I'm gonna be in my life. So, um, yeah. And also, I don't feel like I've got as much of a public facing role as like Mo, every single person here actually, except for me. Yeah, I feel like you guys have much more of a, you're very, very in tune or at least closer to people, what people are saying about you, how they feel, and you put things out there for people to give some form of feedback. Yeah. Um, whereas for me, I'm kind of commenting a little bit on what everybody's doing as a presenter and a host. Mm. Um, so yeah, I think I've been blessed in that way where I can just mind my own business a bit. Mm. Compared to like Eva, who's like your job is for people to look at you, which must not be easy. Hey. It's not. It's not. I check my name on Twitter like every single day. You know you're not supposed do you? to do that. What yeah. you type your name yeah. in? Yeah. Do yeah. not do that. Don't do that. Because now nah, it would be like because I'm not really on Twitter. My friends would be like, Eva, have you seen Twitter? And I'm, I start panicking. Mm. I automatically think it's something bad. Like normally it's something good or like. So then they'd be like, Eva, cool. Like, have you checked Twitter? Yeah. I go on Twitter and I'm like. Eva, I feel this, this. I'm like, wait a damn second. So I automatically go into it and think it's bad, but sometimes it's really good or sometimes it's like great. But because of what social media, like the whole like cancelled, you know, the whole thing that's moving around, it's just like, yeah, nah. 
Serious. Yeah. What What do you like like for you personally? What's been when When's the time that you felt kind of vulnerable and that? Um, I feel like with social media, I don't really give so much to it as I used to. Mm. So like when my modelling started kicking off, like I stopped calling myself an influencer. Oh, you so were then, an influencer before? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> 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 so influencer. then it was just like, um, people would just like try find little things to, oh, but Eva's doing this and Eva's doing that and Eva has done this, but realistically there's nothing there because mm. then I'll come back, I'll come back with a comeback and then my agent will call me like, Eva, don't reply, like, leave it alone, this, mm. that and the third. And I'll just be like, no, because I have to clear up my name because they're talking rubbish, do you know what I'm trying to say? So they'll say little things which are not true, but obviously then people will start retweeting, 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 and then it'll just become a whole discussion of something that's not true at all. What's been just lacking, just life? What has been your proudest moment? Um, I'd say giving back to Uganda. Okay. Yeah, so, because I was born there and... You was born and, in Uganda? Yeah. When well, you come here? Huh? You got citizenship now? Yeah, I have a British passport. I have a British passport. I have one. <laughs> no, um, I moved here when I was like 10, so what, I'm 20 now. Mm. Um, and I was like to myself, I'm not going to go back to Uganda with like nothing to give back because mm. I grew up from there. So then when I opened my foundation, I thought that was my proudest moment. I That's thought, it. yeah, like, cool, I can give back to kids who didn't have, like, think they didn't have a future, because at one point, I didn't think I had one. So wow. I said, you know what? Yeah, let me give back. So that was my proudest moment. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Look how everybody's proudest moments have nothing to do with what everybody knows them for as well. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Like, Rio's proudest moment is, like, his friends and his family. It's mm. quite interesting that I think people look up upon us and like, rate us for things that we probably don't even rate as highly in yeah. our own lives. Yeah, 100. Mo, mm. for yourself, like I think, congratulations on the BAFTA as well. Oh, Andrew. thanks, bro. Yeah, thank, thank you, bro. Thank you. thank you so much. I'm, 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 I'm proper proud, you know. I think, I think sometimes people don't understand the graft and the mm. hustle that you put in, mm -hmm. literally, because you didn't come from the gram. And oh, yeah, no, of course, man. And from yeah, the internet, yeah. you know. And like, for yourself, you know, mm -hmm. even because it's been a, you, you were then stand up for like what ten years, isn't it, bro? Pretty much, like on that kind of. So that's what I mean when you see things like that, those pictures. That's yeah. around the times I was doing stand up, and mm. that's what I think when I first met you. I think it was a show in maybe Leicester. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. And the thing is, back then with those uni shows, it was kind of just put on from guys from the ends. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. when you get there, you're like, oh, it's Leicester, but this is a bag of people from South London, really. <laughs> <laughs> like, and that's always sometimes your hardest audience because you're performing to like your peers, yeah. do you know what I mean? At university as well, at a place where they're like, I'm away from home, but I still want the home comforts, mm. but I'm not gonna, I'm, uh, it's, it's that London mentality, isn't it? So it's like, uh, I don't know my man, bro. Why should I laugh, bro? <laughs> Why should I laugh, bro? And then you get on and you're like, yeah, kind of funny still, yeah, yeah. So that's always what you kind of had to battle. So I was quite fortunate to be around at that time because mm. Going to the shows, it was everyone our age, yeah. as opposed to performing to like people my mum's age. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I think that's that's always been the. Has kinda... that changed now? Is your audience um, still your peers, or is it? It is a little bit, but it's expanded. It's yeah. weird because it's like people's mums and that. Yeah, yeah my mum watches your thing. I'm yeah. like, oh right, okay. Yeah. Big ups your mum. Yeah. Like you must have some people that, like, oh mate. Anyone? <laughs> yeah. To the other day, you're like, right, you you listen to you my listen stuff. To you, do, you, do you adapt to your yeah. content because of that now? Because you, nah. you see a wider audience, you adapt it to suit If other anything, people I don't, or... because now I have to keep it as much as what it's been from the start. Mm. Obviously, like, when you do different stuff within your career, you're like, cool, like, this is the family show. Yeah. So let's make sure it's a bit more mm. family. Or, you know what I mean? You can't do a family show and you're like, raw, this is mad sick, blood. Because mm. then you're like, you've got people's four-year-olds watching. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. So you just, you just know when to turn it down and when to think. But I would never change it, if anything. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who's your favourite oh, yeah, comedian yeah, yeah. of all time? Of all time? Mm. I don't know, you know. I watched this really good documentary about Richard Pryor. But all time? Yeah, I don't know, man. That's like picking your favourite child, isn't it? Who's your favourite brother? See? That's a oh, good question. Teddy. Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy's my favourite Ghanaian brother. <laughs> What's been like your biggest lesson throughout everything so far? I think for me, it's always what I've said no to as opposed to what I said yes to. Okay. Because it's it's harder sometimes to say no mm. than yes. Mm. So I think for me, I think 
it's been very important to be like, mm, do you know what, that's great, but that's not really the stage I want to, what I want to do right, right now in my yeah, career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's most probably been the one lesson that I've kind of learned. And I guess you've mostly had the same thing where sometimes you're like, wow, that looks sick, but you're like, oh, doing that now, I'm like, like, and like some wicked opportunities, Trust. but it's like not where I am right now. Yeah, 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 do you know trust. what I mean? In my career right now, not so much. Thank you. But, and also sometimes as well, like, I also don't like to take too many opportunities because I'm like, well, if I'm putting 100% into this, I can't then put like, <clears throat> like 80% into this. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. give that to someone else yeah. who's going to want that and appreciate it so much more mm -hmm. than me being like, oh, I've got to go and do this. Mm. You know, so yeah, it's just really important to say no as, as much as you say yes. Mm. Yeah. Everything, yeah, I think like now everything just, it boils down to that, what have you done? Yeah. Mm. Stats, you know stats, stats, yeah, the stats, right. the, mm. okay, he's got, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I've achieved this and you've achieved that. But it's mad because obviously there's a lot of people that, you know, like we would meet and, and sometimes they're not actually even happy. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes the journey is better than the actual point of success. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah, like getting yeah, there, like experiencing it all and you look back. Like I'm a bit older than you guys, but having that ability to look back and then enjoy it. Because I didn't really enjoy or go really mad with the successes that I had. Mm. I didn't enjoy them as much because I was always thinking, what, like we said earlier, what's next? What's next? Yeah. If, I, if I lose focus of what's next yeah. and party too much now, enjoy it too much now, I lose that focus. Mm. Yeah. I didn't enjoy it as much, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But I enjoy it looking back now. Mm. Yeah. We both, like, Javan is both of our tour managers. Yeah. And it was the same thing, going out to like Manchester Apollo, you sold it out, and then we're doing another place that's sold out. Yeah. And then you're seeing the reaction of what people, what it's like for people to meet you. Yeah. Which was even that is like quite hard to take in at first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because at first it's just something that feels like, oh, okay, cool, like you like what I do. Mm. But then you'll meet some people and they'll say something so deep, you're like, I didn't know my impact yeah. has that on yeah. somebody. Yeah. Mm. And that for me was like, wow, I really need to enjoy what I'm doing because. 100 this is what it does for this just one person who yeah, I've met. Um, and I think that for me, like, because like, like when we were doing the, the, the comedy shows, we'd meet people, I'd meet people afterwards, like a kind of, not a meet and greet, but I was like, you lot have come, you see me online, it's just fair, I can give you a lot of picture, basically. But meeting some of those people, like people shaking and saying, look, man, I've been going through this, your videos help me. I met this one guy, he had cancer, mm. and he was like, dude, like, I just watch your stuff in the ward repeatedly, mm, innit? Mm. To the wow. point where everyone just says, rah, like, like, this guy. Like, I remember when I went to the ward and I visited him, everyone was like, oh, right, like, you're here, like, you know, you watch your videos. Like, everyone said that. Mm. And for me, it was like, it took, that was the, the most realisation I had on what it is that I do. Yeah. And what it meant for me. Yeah. And what it meant for me to kind of carry on on what I want to do in the future. Right. Mm. Because if it has that impact of someone who's, you know, in a place of like, that's, that, that's like the worst place you want to be in. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you go online to watch what I do or maybe listen to your music or mm. watch whatever you do mm. on like, like music and stuff like that. Mm. It's a very, it's very humbling. 100%. And that's not something that happens to everybody in the street. No. Do you know what I mean? No. There's a weird balance that you have to find though, because you can't, um, you don't want to be in a position where because you know what you mean to someone, you then force yourself to do it mm -hmm. for them. Yeah. Yeah, there still has yeah. to be a balance of, but I still like doing this. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, There's, course, and yeah. I think that's why a lot of people, creatives tend to struggle because you sometimes get to a place where you're like, you could wake up tomorrow and be like, oh, I don't actually want to do that anymore. But I know there's thousands of people that love it, so do I have to continue do doing that, it? Man. So mm. it's an interesting balance that you have to try and find, which is, I think is where I got to recently after leaving um, Apple, Apple yeah. was like, cool, I love that I can talk to people all over the world and tell them about our culture, where I'm from, like, mm. it's exciting. Mm. But if I feel like I can do this with my eyes closed and I'm not learning anything mm. and I'm not growing, mm. then how much longer can I do this for before I'm a detriment to myself? Mm. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. There's a beauty in doing it, but I also find that it's really nice to stop mm. and just like not do anything and mm. say, okay, cool, this is what I've done. Um, what can I do next? Who do I want to be? Like, just almost like realign with myself mm -hmm. and work out where I want to go now it's and change that direction. It's mad you've got the ability to do that. It's yeah. mad. Because, like, obviously, when you play, like, football, you sign a five-year deal. Right. Yeah. Yeah? And so, for instance, like, to take that analogy, like, 
two years in, you know what, I fancy just taking a bit of time out and just saying, let me pause for a bit. Yeah. A year out, pause. That don't You can't do that. It doesn't exist. Mm. Don't yeah. make sense. It's just and, and then to think you're going to get back into it mm. after that, you, the clubs ain't going to take you, you're mm. a liability now, they can't right. trust you. Mm. So it's like, it's lucky that you're in a position you can actually do that and you mm. can control. Because not everyone can do that, you know what mm. I mean? Yeah. Mm. It's good. Mm. I really wanted to like proper congratulate you on the, um, the your whole family covering the Guardian. Oh, thank you. I think it's proper amazing thank story. That, that deserves another. Mm. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm so that's, that's, a, that's a big look. Thank you, bro. Proper big look. Proper. Yeah, I didn't. That's one of those things that you don't really understand what it means until the outside world get it and mm. then you see their reactions to it. So that mm -hmm. was very cool. Mm. Um, congratulations to my mum as well, actually, for writing a book about her life. Oh, yes. yes. Um, yes, yes. It was a special, special moment. Uh, the question I was going to ask was, what do you guys do? So I have a really good barrier of external. I don't really mess with external too much. I'm not, I'm not phased by it. But what do you guys do about the internal? What do you do about feeling like you're not good enough, feeling like you could have written a better lyric, feeling like you could have taken a better picture, done a campaign different? Mm. How do you like, deal with the person that actually matters yourself when you don't feel like you're hitting the bar that you know that you're proper, capable of hitting? Proper good question. Mm. I'm going to go to the big homie. <laughs> I'm going to hear from the, the big um, homie. <laughs> It's a good question, man. From if you're looking at football terms, yeah, mm. it was never ever taking any situation too serious. Okay. Like, don't take yourself too seriously. Like, it, and it took me time to work it out. So I was at West Ham and I went to Leeds. I played for England at a World Cup and I went to Man United. And I'll play a game, not play well or lose, and I would have friends up from London and we've organised a big night out, dinner night out, etc. And I just cancel it. Go in a room in my house and just sit and just watch telly, watch match of the day, look oh, how terrible I've been, how rubbish, I'm dry, oh my God, blah, blah, blah. Get into the mad depressive state. Mm -hmm. Don't go to sleep because the adrenaline's still going till four or five in the morning, wake up training. And it worked till I got to United that I learned from the team and the manager that like, yeah, you've lost or you haven't played well, but there's tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And like always, like you can rectify mistakes. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I know mm -hmm. you could put out an album, you could do a campaign, you could do a show or whatever you're going to do on present a, a, a show and get it wrong. But there's going to be another opportunity, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and don't let that have a bit, be too much of a hangover. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, acknowledge that I've done something. Look in the mirror. Actually, where can I adjust? Where can I sort it out? Where can I improve? Next move on. Mm. You know what I mean? That, that hangover, long-lasting hangover, ain't the one. Mm. Yeah. Like letting it just drown yeah. you and bring you down. It's just going to make you into a depressive state. It's just, that's just too much. Mm. It's not as serious as that. Right. Yeah. So this section here is called Talk About It. We've all got bowls next to us and there are topics, words and names. If it's a word, what does the word mean to you? If it's someone, what does that mean to you? And so I'm gonna start with Heady over there. Embarrassment. Embarrassment. Mm. What does it mean to me? Yeah. Um, I don't really get embarrassed no more. I can take like a lot of jokes and that. Mm. I can make everything a joke. You know, mm. That's it. But embarrassment, that's like, yeah, it's a lot of pressure. Like all the eyes are on you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I know. I know what it feels like to be embarrassed. I think everyone's been embarrassed at one point in their life. Absolutely. I can't remember a particular specific, probably in school or something. Mm. But like, um, yeah, more recently, I just love everything off, really. Mm. So, yeah. Like, you see, like, coming from just making that transition, yeah? Mm. Just from, from the roads, yeah? Mm. Into the industry. Mm. And then, you know, naturally, there's always, there was that phase that I saw with yourself that people used mm. to say, like, Heady's so funny, man. Mm. Heady, <laughs> how, how, how did you take that? Me, I don't, I don't really, obviously, I come from that laws of negative situations and that, but I'm kind of tired of it. Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I'm not, I know some people are now trying to find it cool and get into it, but I'm completely that like, tired. Like, I've been through all the scenarios you can imagine that, that comes with, you know what I'm trying to say? Mm. So it's not it's nothing to me for someone to find me funny. I don't feel insecure mm. about nothing to mm. do with that stuff mm. because I know that I've I've done it ten yeah. times and over, and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to wash my hands of it mm. literally. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't feel no way. Mm. If people call me funny, then this means they find me funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Aria? Embarrassing moments. 
Yeah. What about um, uh, Lionel Messi? Bro, he's already gone. He's gone there, yeah? You know what? The only reason it ain't embarrassing being like, we got destroyed by Barcelona, but it's because like they were the best. Yeah. Probably the best club team I've ever seen in my life. Okay. That's mm. ever walked this earth. They were the best team. So we got embarrassed twice in the biggest games, Champions League finals. So mm. it weren't as embarrassing, but it's... You say that's the hardest team that you ever played against? Yeah. As in, as in like a football team? Yeah. So we won the league back to back, I think it's four, three or four on the trot, on mm. the trot yeah? Mm. And we got to the final three times in them four years of the yeah. Champions League which is like, like crazy, yeah? And two of them Champions League finals, we lost to Barcelona, but I'd won the league that year, okay. but I felt like I'd lost everything. Wow. Okay. So you didn't even get to enjoy winning the league. It was okay. mad. It, but, mm. but it was the manner in which they'd done it, how the, on the night, your family's there and you've got to come out of the change and go upstairs and they're looking you in your eye. And my friend's like, but you lot got destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for a cuddle, You need yeah? a friend like that, though. You need a friend like that. Oh, you, you, Let's you, not sugarcoat yeah, it. Like you know what? Yeah. Destroyed. Yeah, yeah. destroyed. I'm looking for a cuddle or like a little, like... <laughs> yeah. Just yeah. 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 bring it in, bro. <laughs> it was like, right, you lot got batted up. What happened to you lot? <laughs> Whoa, done. like, it was just... And it was because they were that good, you just had to just go, you know what? They were a team. Yeah. And it, it was hard, it man. Is, yeah. It was hard. Mm. It goes back to that thing you were saying, though, of not taking things serious. Like, you need mm. the friend that's just going to be like, it happened, bro. Yeah, mm. exactly. Keep it moving. Yeah, just keep yeah. it moving. <laughs> exactly. Keep it moving. My one says money. Wow, this Ooh. is not a quick fire. Yeah, we're going to try and make it a quick fire. What, okay, money, I'll try. what does money mean to you? Um, a famous man, a wonderful, mm, not wonderful, a famous man once said, yeah. um, <coughs> having money is not everything. Mm. Not having it is. And yes. I think that's a really, really... Um, yeah, that sticks by me all the time because when I didn't have money, biggest stress of my life, now that I'm financially stable, I just don't even care about it and it doesn't yeah. drive me in anything that I do. So mm -hmm. it's one of those things that's like, I hate that it is so important to loads of people because if everybody had it, it wouldn't mean anything. Yes. So that's stressful. What about you, H? Um, I look at money more of like a mindset than a material thing, you know what I'm trying to say? Mm. I feel like the way you think about money is the way it will work for you. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a believer in law of attraction and thoughts down to things. So mm. I think once you start to think oh. negatively about money and have negative thoughts about, about it, it will gravitate wow. away from you, if you know what I'm trying to say. Mm. So I've always, just, even if like in the past, if things weren't going too well, I've always thought positively about money and then I always, it just happens to gravitate itself <laughs> towards me. Now we're good now, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> Um, it's, it's a hard one, money, isn't it? Because money brings a lot of problems, that song from years ago. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Until you get money, you don't really quite understand that lyric. And then once you get it and you start going, right, oh, there are more problems. Money does, it, it, money takes away quite a lot of problems, but it doesn't guarantee you happiness. Yep. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I think for me, where, where I've grown up from, a lot of people don't have money. Mm. So when I came into money, I felt like I had to get rid of it. So I was like, I yeah. need to buy this, I need to buy that. Yeah. I need to go into shops I've never been into just to let them know they I can buy it. something. Yeah. I look like this, but watch, I'm gonna buy this. Mm -hmm. And I'll get treated like, like I've got money. And the minute that I felt that feeling, I was like, I hate this feeling, innit? This is not it. Yeah. This is not what I've aspired to. So, I don't know, with me for money, like one money comes and goes, but I think everybody in some sense is abundant in money. Mm. So it's how you, it's that law of attraction. If you think you have no money, then you will always be stuck in a place of, right, I've, always, I've always got 10 pound in my account, as opposed to someone who doesn't look at money, but you feel abundant in it in other ways. So you say, do you know what? I ain't got money, but I got a roof over my head. Mm -hmm. I'm able to pay my bills. Yeah. And I think it's the ecosystem. The older I've got, the more I've been able to, to manage it. But also, I think what money allows me to do is help everyone around me. 100. So family, friends, um, and just being able to do things I'd never be, thought I'd be able to do. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. What you got there? Um, rejection. This is a, a pill to swallow. Mm. Um, nah, rejection's been me throughout my life. Like, coming from Uganda, trying to find a little friendship group in school and just getting rejected, then modelling every single no, like campaigns, every single no. So it's been like something that I've just 
had to grow thick skin to like to now it's like if someone says no to me I'm like okay cool and I keep it stepping mm. and just find a yes someone else somewhere mm. else so mm. it's not some nothing that can dig at me now anymore really did because you get asked to do that show the fashion show well, the Savage, no. Nah, Savage X Fenty. No, nah, I don't do fashion shows. You don't do fashion shows? I've got what? anxiety. I've got so bad oh, okay. anxiety. Seriously? Yeah. What, oh. like you, you can't deal with it? like. I can't do people watching me. Like I can't do people watching me speak, people watching me walk. Like The fear of falling, can't do it. Seriously? But yeah. well, you're comfortable in this room, right? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Is that something that you want to work on? Or like... I don't know. I'm comfortable with doing campaigns. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm chilling. I'm good. I don't really need to walk down the runway. Well, if you oh. ever need all of us to come to your first runway show, we'll just, be there, like... just cheer you up and we'll do it. We'll be at the front. Yeah. There's only three gums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there, man. Is that a big part of modelling? Yeah, like, so many people are scared. And it's just like... I had a f my first casting for a fashion show in Paris and it was just like, I was 16, mm. size six, and then this man just pulls my skin and be like, you're too fat. So since then I've just been wow. like, nah, wow. it's wow. not my cup of tea. That you is to, you insane. Need to, you need to make your own show and walk your own show. Make That's your own show, walk your own show. I saw you got a brand as huh? well. Yeah. Huh? 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 You got a brand as well? <laughs> you said it. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got here? Rihanna? Um... <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, I think she's gorgeous. I think she's, um, I think she's a very intelligent woman. I love what she's done. She put the music on hold. Like, I don't want to make music right now. I'm going to go and build this company. What's she got? Fenty Skin, up. beauty, and uh, lingerie. And oh, oh, yeah, of course. You would know oh, that. Four companies, isn't it? Skin, beauty, lingerie, clothes. Yeah. So, so Fenty's four well. companies. No, so it's Fenty, which is the clothes. Fenty, then, then she's got Fenty Skin. Yeah, which is Fenty the skincare. Beauty. Wow. Fenty Beauty, which is makeup. Then and then Savage, Savage Fenty. is the lingerie. Is it, all oh. under, is it all under that one? Under Fenty. One, under Fenty. Under one yeah. house, yeah. Bro, it's a stop when you're successful. Like you were talking about before. You're at Apple where most presenters think, well, that's the pinnacle. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And you go, you know what, pause and go and do something else. That's yeah. risk. Mm. Because they could... Especially off the back of doing, what did she do? Eight, eight albums in eight years or yeah. something? She was putting out yeah. one album a year. It's mad. It's For real. It's on you, bro. Oh, sorry. Birkin. <laughs> I don't, this you see that bag? I think that's ugly. <laughs> How many Birkins have you bought for your only. partner? None. Okay. Are you with Birkin for your partner? None. 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 Serious? No. Did you not request Birkin? She, what, she ain't requested it, which are a rate in a sense. Okay. But you know there's but this I, thing called a push present. Yeah, you know like, what? It's my my missus, we almost had an argument the other day about it. I've never heard of that in my life. No, it's real. I've never heard of it. Yeah, so push present is when when, you know, say, when they've given birth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, a present. A present, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, that that kind of thing she got out. one, innit? Yeah. She yeah. pushed the baby out and mum and bought her. The yeah, thing yeah, is, it's not, honest, it's, not, it's not been around for years. Course. No, no, the thing is, it's not a thing, but it's kind of becoming a thing. Yeah, my missus said it to me, and I, and I said I didn't, I don't know it, and she got like, there was, she was getting vexed, like, yeah. What do you mean you don't know about the push present? Like, I'm pushing out your baby, our baby. <laughs> you're not going to get the push present. I was like, no, I've never heard of it. I'm sorry, like, I've never heard of this. Yeah. But... Yeah, but the Birkin, going back to the Birkin, I don't understand it. Like, it's not a necessity, Good is Good investment it? piece, though. But I just yeah. don't... I... Where you got Birkin? No, <laughs> Invest in it, man. Are you Invest. What's going on? Where you got Birkin? What's going on? No, but it, honestly, it's a real good investment piece. Like, as, like, to invest in, like... Yeah, in terms of that, You know, whether that, you're, but... you're investing in jewellery or whatnot, mm. that's a great investment piece. Okay. What about Yeah, yeah, the Birkin You got bags. Birkin? Huh? I just don't find it as an attractive bag. Like, I wouldn't wear it. I'd keep it as an investment, yeah, but yeah, I wouldn't yeah. wear it around. So what's the point if I'm buying it not to wear it? Good answer. I like that. What did you say about the car? What was that thing you just said to her about a car? Oh, no, Kylie. Kylie um, Kylie Jenner. She got a push present. Travis Scott, he got her, um, he got her the, I think it was Baby Blue. Like, a, was, I think it was a Lambo or something. Oh, oh yeah, got a car? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then she probably she snapped it. She went, push present. <laughs> 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 no, the way she done it, she just snapped it. The car was in the truck being delivered. She just went, push present. <laughs> push present. <laughs> Bay. Oi, Bay. Oh, this one just feels young though, chat, man. Right? This yeah. is like a young people's word, Bay. I don't even like this word. You're young. No, but Bay, I don't use the, I didn't grow up on the words Bay. I didn't That's even. my Bay. Mm. That's my woman. That's my wife. That, like... Yeah, I don't like the word Bay. The thing is, yeah, I always say like, Behind any successful person, there's another successful person there. Mm. They might not be in the limelight, but it's your, it's it's your, it's your partner. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, I always owe a lot of my success massively to, to my girlfriend as well because mm. 
I wouldn't be in the position I am if she weren't like. I remember when I was going to do the Netflix special, and mm. I was bare nervous. Mm. And all we, normally, like, I think for us, like, as comics, you can just put on a thick skin. Mm. Nah, it's cool, bruv. You're not nervous. Mm. No, no, don't mm. before, innit? Mm. That night, I was mad nervous because I was like, whatever they capture, that's it. Mm. There's no second chance. Mm. And I was so nervous. And she was like, look, you're going to be fine. You've done it before. But, like, there's nothing to worry about. And that meant more to me right. than just one of the man then being like, got man like you, bruv. <laughs> man like you, I'm trying to be like you. Which is nice, but... It's like, it's very important to have that support system at yeah. the same time. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's something different, obviously, for the obvious things, but there's also something different about the person that you love compared to, even though you love your friends, there's the voice of the person that you love speaking to you that mm. feels, it, it's got an extra bit of gravitas, like it weighs more. You know what mm. I'm saying? So mm. in them situations, I've had times where I know I've got the answer to my mm. issue. Like, I know that I can handle it. But if my boyfriend says something to me, it, it's like a super, like it's like, okay, cool. Like, it's I like can, a deeper like, energy yeah. there, isn't it? Yeah. 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 You yeah. gravitate yeah. towards. Yeah. yeah. It's true. It is important. Well, you, you, me, me. Oh, me. I knew you were going to come to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, me. Don't be, don't be, don't no, be no, no, embarrassed of your it, relationship. No, I'm no. not, but he, like, whenever he sees me, he's just like, mm-hmm, yeah, you are very, like, yeah. <laughs> No, you know, because I love the, the, the Bonnie and Clyde thing that she did. Have you seen Eva? No, 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 no. Oh. Don't take him in. I promise you, don't take him in. Body don't take him in. Hey, she no, the best, yo. Um, she said, answering what you I got saying, my front. Wait, wait, wait. Just put one caption. Wait, wait, wait. Just put one caption. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, she said, she said, um, she said, wait, she said I, I got your you're front. Saying, you're you got my back. I said, ah, 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 I got your front. He grilled me. You got my back. At your dinner, I went back and I was like, oh, let me change the caption. <laughs> nah, leave no, the no, caption no, too. No, but I think it's that. I got like that. That's a good caption. That's though. a good caption, bro. I thought we were out. We said, what, you give me some <laughs> indication. <laughs> no. what, what, what was the caption settings, though? Huh? So oh, this no, is like, it. She was, was holding his hand. Yeah. She was walking. He was Bruh. looking at me and I was just, he was just holding my hand, innit? <laughs> okay. No, and the way she done it, it was so like, it's just nonchalant. Was this on the street? Nonchalant. She was just holding the hand. She's going like that. And he was looking down at the hand like that. I thought, yeah, this girl here, you are fantastic. <laughs> what about you, Ria? Give us um, some secrets. Give us the tips, bro, because we need the tips. You know what I'm saying? I How know H is just sitting there paying the attention. <laughs> 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 like, you need the tips. We need the tips. How long have you been um, with, your, with your wife? Wife, yeah. yeah. Um, Do you know what? Sorry to cut you, but you know what I like about you two, yeah? You lot just got good back. Because Ria, I don't know if you still do it when you've done the exercise thing. Mm. Me and my missus was doing exercise as well, innit? Okay. So to watch another couple doing exercise Speech. and their vibes in, I, I, I remember our boys know you, innit? Yeah, yeah, I said, like, yeah. well, hey, this is bare fun, you know? <laughs> <laughs> me and my missus are having bare fun, man. But you can see that when you guys do that, if mm. that makes sense. Yeah, no, definitely. I, mean, so. I think having uh, fun and having a laugh. Like, my situation was mad with what happened to me. Mm. Um, but I, I weren't expecting to meet anyone. Mm. And then I met her and her selflessness just blew me away. Mm. Like, to have someone beside you who's like, will sacrifice a lot of themselves for right. you mm. and your family. Mm. I've got three kids she's come into that she's, she's supporting mm. and she's become like a, a second mum for them. To have that partner yeah. who you can look at and trust and know that anything that they're doing is they're putting themselves almost second behind mm. you and the children mm -hmm. is an amazing thing to have that I never thought I would get. Wow. So, like, yeah, back to your point about having that support of a, of a, a great person behind you. Like, I've, I've clocked the game in that sense. Yeah. I've got someone who I can, like, fully say I'm thankful that I've That's got in that beautiful. sense. That's beautiful. Let's get to Heady now. Yeah. What about yeah. you, Michael? What's up, Heady? Wait. <laughs> Look into these two. Ghanaian princes. Yeah. <laughs> I think Michael should go first, though. Yeah, Michael, you go first. Michael should go first, isn't it? Yeah. Do you have a partner? I had a partner. Okay. Yeah, 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 I had a partner. Lovely girl, um, you know, really great family and stuff, but it just kind of didn't work out. Um, you know, and sometimes it, it, it happens like that. So then on to most question, in this scenario, yeah, what happens? I'm a bit more paranoid. Mm. Same. I'm paranoid, like, when it comes to that, because, like, sometimes I wish, like, I had somebody, like, before or anything, mm. because I think it's that, that, that genuineness, or whatever, like, genuineness that you kind of seek right now, people can easily put it on, mm. because 
you know, you can. You find said that to Mo earlier, isn't it? Yeah, yeah no, you can because you can find out wherever you want to find out about something. Yeah. And mm. bro, right now we live in a time where I need my Birkin, <laughs> I need my racks, <laughs> I need my this, I need my that. You know, the, the, the girls want to be laced, and like it's mad because you want to be able to give your partner nice things, but mm. then it's that's not what it's, it's about for me. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not what it's about for me. I want someone that really connects and cares about me and my mm-hmm. general well-being because, bro, the game itself, it comes with its own pressures, mm-hmm. as we all know. Do you know what I really desire? Sometimes I just want to go home and there's a girl to just rub my head. That's what, I don't want a girl to just, like, just give me, just mess up, just give me some, just rub my, that, that's all I want. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I can actually picture that. I know you just want to go home and you just want something, just, and then just, just lying there and just, just saying, yeah, baby, it was a bit of a, mm, it was a bit of a sticky one still. <laughs> 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 you know, I don't want someone to just rub my, you know, it make you feel, I don't, and I, I don't even, I don't, I don't really want anything for a, from, a, from a woman like that, but just like what you have with Kate, mm. where, uh, where they're just selfless. Mm. I love that. Someone that's genuinely selfless and um, th- that, that, that's it. I think it's such an mm. important trait and it's not something that we find that much now. Mm. Yes, you know, it's not it's not as easily accessible mm. that I've I've kind of seen, mm. you know. What about you, H? Yeah. Mm. Do you have a girlfriend? That was on by Lily Piper, by the way. But do you have a girlfriend? And what do you look for in a woman, Heady One? Um, it's been like a, a dating show, isn't it? I was on a long-term relationship. How long? Like, oh, kind of long, on and off though. Okay. For like five years. Yeah. Bruh. <laughs> Don't do that! Don't do that! That's not fair! <laughs> I said raw. <laughs> I live my business! Hey, madame was riding with you. Nah, she's serious. She's serious. Yeah, obviously, like that. It. Yeah, obviously, those are scenarios. I don't see that John and all that. Mm. Complicated it, but yeah, like, it was just a bit, it's a bit complicated. What do you, what, like, obviously, Michael said he wants someone who's selfless and can rub. Rub his head. His head when he gets home. What's um, your thing? What what for you is important in a relationship? Um, like these lots of the all, um, selflessness, and the someone that's understanding. Uh, obviously, yeah, it's hard to find someone that's understanding of your life and like mm. yeah. what's going on and the mm. day to day, and have patience mm. and make it make sense. You know what I'm trying to say? That's very important for me because there's loads of other stuff going on which take a lot of. That like put a lot of pressure, yeah. and I feel like to, um, there's no point having a situation that's gonna add more pressure. Right. Mm. Yeah. I'm trying to say. Yeah. Getting ever... home and having to explain everything again. Yo. <laughs> but it must be hard in your world though, like, because obviously, like, obviously now it's different in the pandemic. But when you're out touring, doing shows, clubs, etc., like, w- there's a lot of extra. Literally. Stuff from the other other sex that comes with that. Yeah, yeah. And having to go home and explain that. You kind of need, you kind of need someone that's just gonna. You don't need to explain. Yeah. Mm. Mm. They just understand it. It's like second nature. Mm. Eva. <laughs> Luxury. Mm. And Fendi boots for a start. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, but see, like expensive stuff to me is not a luxury. Okay. It would be like a holiday or like something. I spend on me, that's a luxury. But then someone will see me with like a watch or like a bag and be like, raw, like you live a luxurious life. Like to me, that's that's not it, really. Mm. What about you guys? Can I ask you something? What does luxury mean to you? Because luxury for me mm. is having a week off with yeah. nothing to do. Like a holiday, like because Jamaica. I don't know, yeah. But I think for me though, when I got to a place of like, raw, like I can afford this. Yep. I can yeah. shop here. Yep. When I got to these places, I didn't really like it, you know? No, yeah. like, no do you know what, bro? I didn't like it because I don't actually like spending money. We know, bro. See this guy, yeah? <laughs> oh my gosh! Like when we went to IB for, yeah? Remember that same story where the guy wanted a picture of us, right. yeah? yeah? This guy bought, you know these little neck cushions, yeah? I will never forget this. You know a neck cushion you plate, get, right? Yeah, yeah. He bought a neck cushion and it must have cost him like... 29 what? pounds. Cost him 29 <laughs> pounds, yeah? 29 pounds. 29 pounds, right? So obviously now we're going to Ibiza, like we're excited, we've got our little Nando's and Gatwick. Then he's like, yeah, I've seen another neck cushion, it's 20. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna like refund this one and buy that one. You know when you're just like on holiday mode, like, no, this is a cushion, isn't it? He's like, nah, bruh. You know where we're from? 
Nah, reality though. Reality, nine every new it helps. Nine goes a long way. <laughs> 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 that's what I'm saying. Nah, man. That nine pound goes a long way. Yeah. But there's no difference in the knee cushion. There's no difference in it. You're like, if, it's a, you know, if you see something where you're like, do you know what, that's the deal, because this one is actually better mm. than this. According no, to you. Do you, know what, do you know what it is? I felt bumped. We was we were downstairs, right? <laughs> yeah. And I bought the neck cushion for twenty nine pounds. Right. Then we went upstairs and I saw the same cushion for twenty pounds. <laughs> what do you on. want me to do? No, it's not. I need my nine quid. For you. <laughs> <laughs> I need my but nine. But I quid. do wish I had more of this mentality because as I started to earn more. I went into the spending. I never, back. Yeah, I never had anything when I was younger, so you get what I'm saying. I Don't ask spend. no questions. Walk in, and I wish I had this brain because nah. I'll look back at my budgets and think, "Raw, right, Julie, you really spent nah, that. Yeah, like, nah, it's not. Lot, it wasn't these, worth it." Nah, these lot get onto me all the time. I'm oh like, man, I, that was the funniest thing because I was like. <laughs> I was like, brother, it's nine pounds, bro. There you go, bro. We're well, gonna go out deeper, bro. I'll just give you the nine pounds. Let's I get on the plane. Huh? You wouldn't do that. What? What? Take back the pillow. Oh no, 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 nine pounds. Yeah, something little like that. But yeah. on holiday, like I'm like, yeah, what? He wants shots. Yeah, he wants drinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, that's me on holiday. But when it's going to the shop, I'm like, oh. Trust me. Or like, right, the basket shipping. No, nah, the, mm. the, the worst is when you can get this, the thing gifted. <laughs> mm. yeah. And you pay for it. Yeah. Like, you not gonna buy things that can what go on? Huh? What? You I'll, wait for it to be I, gifted. I think, I think no. freeness, yeah, feels like if you're getting free clothes, mm. it feels different on the skin. Yeah. Mm. Clothes, the food wait, goes down different, mm. different when it's free. It's yeah. like Everything if the brand different, is like yeah. gifting yeah. it to me, and then I go to the shop and I see someone, and I'm about to. Bro. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that thing, it, I don't like it, 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 it does something to me. I don't, there's something about it's gifting that. Yeah, it's nice, but it. You almost don't, it's like you don't take as much care of it. Oh, no, I mean, I take, I take, I know I where know. I come from. I take Dude, care of everything. It, it depends on what the gift everything. is. When people not, just give you stuff, it's you're like... It's luxurious. Yeah. yeah. Like, where it's all that, that, that word that, it's like, it's a beautiful thing. And I'm quick to tell people that was free, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not a gift. Yeah, I, I'm, I, I got a pair of trainers gifted and they were so expensive. I think I've worn them three times. <laughs> but every time people come to my house, yeah. I'm like, yeah, because they, they've got a, a see-through um, shoebox case, case mm. isn't it? Yeah. So that's the first thing you see. <laughs> Bro, them kicks are sick. I got them for free, you know? Yeah. I swear. Yeah. They're for free. Oh, it's a gift. Yeah, I got them for free still. <laughs> but I know because what that means to me, isn't it? Trust. Right. Whereas other things you can get gifted, it's like you're saying, you're just like, some things I've been waiting my whole life to get gifted. And when it come, I was like, what is that? It? That's it? Yeah, yeah, I remember I got an Xbox, man. Bro. Gifted. Gifted. <laughs> the Xbox, and I come in. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, it didn't have the same vibe. Yeah, it had the same yeah. vibes. Listen, though. Xbox, I'm here for any of the free gifts. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't want to give it to Michael, I'm here for it still. Oh, no, no, I'm here for it, so <laughs> I played it. Don't get to I've definitely played it. Don't listen to it. Don't I've definitely played it, yeah. Do you ever give I, away your Do you ever give away your gift, your, your free stuff? All the time, though? every day. Yeah, no, I give away my free yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. it's important to, so, especially if I'm not going to use it. Yeah, yeah. same, I think same, it's, same. It's nice to give it to someone that's going to... Because that's... And that's what I realised as well, because it's like... You can you can almost forget you was in the position of yeah. one Massively. not that long ago mm -hmm. when you get into a position mm. where it gets given to you. Yeah. Yeah. And so like I love to be able to yeah, give it to the people. I think yeah, that yeah. giving is one of the nicest things is getting in the position that we pr probably all are in. Yeah. Mm. It's like when I was playing and I first got it with England, you used to go in the room and there'll be a bag in your in your hotel room mm -hmm. full of like t shirts, tracksuits trainers, etc. Mm, mm. Obviously you could afford all that, yeah. but then I'd go back to my estate when I was still living on my estate, and you just give it to all your friends, mm, and your friends mm. would all walking around in it, and you'd sit there and go, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, nice. yeah, so you don't, yeah. that, you don't anticipate that, but when it comes, it's like, oh, it's a yeah, beautiful yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been an amazing conversation. Mm. It's been special. But you know, to wrap up, I want everyone to describe 2020 in three positive words. Oh. I know the year has been a bit of a, you know. <laughs> but listen, three positive words. What does 2020 mean to you? It's been my best and my worst year. Babes, he Babes. said three words. Three words. <laughs> 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 best and my worst. Best yeah, and so worst. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me, let me start. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say track and trace. <laughs> <laughs> 2020, to me, it was unpredictable. Um, fast, <laughs> and it was a movie. Oh man, those are good ones. Bona. Good one. Follow Hedy. Uh, 2020 to me, um, 
uh, can someone go next? This is a tough one still. Yeah, because I want to say it was a blessing, but I can't explain why it was a blessing without saying more than one word. Mm. Go on, Rio, you go. If you got it. Family. Mm. Um, opportunity, because I feel when there's negative situations like we've had, there's always opportunity. If you, if you can search it out, it comes, this book, uh, like, it bears out at the end. Um, pregnancy. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Bush present. Yeah. Bush present. Yeah. Um, I'd say it was interesting. Mm. Um, eye opening, like, greatly. And um, I'd say it was kind of actually fun, like, getting, doing everything that, you know, like, this is fun. Mm. It was fun. Mm. I think one word is like togetherness. Mm. I feel like in this time, in this, in this year, people, you had to really stick together. Whether you're in a flat show with someone, you had to stick together through mm -hmm. that hard time. Do you know what I mean? Whether it's calling up family, all those small things really matter. So definitely togetherness. Um, creative, like people have found mad creative ways to businesses. People have really hustled this year. And I think mm. what seeing people hustle of like, you know, people do nails and they're gonna, boom, come to my house. I've got my own shop in my house. That for me is like, I think that's one thing I've definitely been in awe of, like people's creativity. Mm -hmm. And then the last one, um, a moment. This year has definitely been a moment. We'll never forget this year. Mm. People will tell it to their kids yeah. and our kids will not believe it. Mm. Be like, you know, you couldn't go out. You can only go out for an hour. What? Mm. Everywhere was closed. Mm. Jogging only. There was no toilet roll. Mm. Man, what do you do? <laughs> there actually was no was, toilet roll. This is such yeah. a moment. It's like, we'll literally, we'll, you know, if it's going to feel like, remember when 2012 happened, yeah? And then you was like, rah, like, do you remember when the Olympics happened? That was only last year. And it took you to that 2016 to be like, rah, we're fully out of 2012. Mm -hmm. mm. And I feel like this is what that year is going to feel like. This mm. year is going to feel like. We'll never forget. Yeah. I'm going to go with reflective, um, which is a positive for me. Like I said earlier about just being able to stop and look around and reassess life. Um, it feels so bittersweet to say, but it was this year has been a very happy year for me. I've seen my nieces grow up, um, spend time with their parents. I've seen my nieces turn into my older brothers, mm -hmm. which is really interesting to see. Junior and Jamie as small children. Um, but that's been really beautiful and it's made me happy as an auntie. And lastly, I'll say um, love, I think is the word that I'll use for this year. Kind of goes to what Mo was saying about togetherness of just um, really being able to appreciate people for exactly who they are without any extra bells and whistles, like to see a human being and um, be able to just see them as they are and appreciate who they are to you without there being any work involved or what they're wearing or whatever. Like mm. I was looking mad in the, <laughs> I was looking mad for a little bit when my hair was in the I don't know what you call it, like the two and a no. half the two and a half level but everyone was wearing Yeah, it was looking a bit <laughs> mad, but you know what I'm saying? Everyone was looking a little bit crazy, but at the same time you still love them just because they it's are good to see people. Yeah, it's good to see people. Mm, yeah. What about you, Michael? Mm-hmm. Hey. Um I would say this year has been a blessing. A blessing because, like, through everything, up or down, we're still here. Mm -hmm. I'm still here. You know, it's, it's just it's amazing to just feel the energy of everyone. Secondly, I think this year has been... It's definitely been great to take some time away just to kind of just reevaluate one's visions, appreciate the position that we're blessed to be in. And then finally, this is good, it's kind of on the spot. I like the way how you flowed it, you know, you flowed it like you was in the booth. You just went like that. <laughs> it's kind of been like, yeah. And then it's kind of been like, yeah. And then, yeah, you just landed it smooth. Out there on for hesitating. Um, yeah, my last word to describe this year, productive. Um, yeah, I think this year has definitely been productive. Tried to make it as productive as possible. Um, yeah, 
bringing ideas into fruition. There's some things I've wanted to do for a while. I wanted to write some things for a while that I've been able to do this year. I wanted to record, I wanted to do certain things I've been able to do, so yeah, it's definitely been productive. Are you going to do a Man's Not Hot Part 2? What's that again? Are you doing Man's Not Hot Part 2? No, I'm doing a couple of cans. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're so silly. I'm going to give me a couple of cans. <laughs> so we come to the end of the first episode of We Need to Talk. I just want to thank my guests, my friends, Teddy One, Julia the Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> Real Ferdinand, Eva Appio, and Mo Gilligan. Uh, let's toast to excellence. To excellence. To excellence. More everything. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna see you on the next one. Peace and love.